This is an 05 Echo door. It's a four door hatchback. Have to replace the actuators. And uh, so I'll try and do this in one shot. Um, so you take out the, the plastic door uh, screws. There they are on the bottom there. And then the screw that's in here and the screw that's in the handle. And then in order to get that panel off, just put a screwdriver between the plastic washer and the crank if you get old old school cranks like mine. And then there's a circlip that just pushes off. And then the, the then it should come off. Just go under the top along the shaft with the screwdriver and pry gently up to release the circlip. And the clip faces towards the outside of the car when you put it back. Just feel underneath the door and there's a little notch you can put your fingers in right where I got mine. And you give it a pull, which I'll have to do with two hands here. I had to use the little tape on the screwdriver to give it a little persuasion uh, tape just so you don't scratch the paint. I'm going to remove this little remote control cover here. And then you lift out and then up. So there's a, you don't want to, you don't want to break the top part off. So you lift it up once you get the bottom out. And that reveals the door. You can see that somebody's already done some work on this door and removed all the vapor barrier, which I'll probably replace with some plastic. This thing just slides down, although it's not doing it very well with my one hand. Once you get that screw out, and then you got to take these two out. You got to take that one out. That's the bottom of the door channel. And then the secret box here I found you have to take that out too. It's just take these two screws out. And then take the, just this thing just unscrews. Let's take that off. So the door handle actually has to slide away from the hinges along that. You can see there's a little, there's the set on it. And you need a Torx, a Torx tool to remove the three that are holding the lock in place.